Questions on career plan and studying in the UK tend to test on your passion and your ability to see your passion through. In this video, we'll discuss studying in the UK essay. With this particular essay, an applicant needs to have some introspective discussion with themselves and answer questions like, what do I like? What am I passionate about? Or what am I more concerned about? And if I go to study, how would I solve this problem? How would the UK be able to give me the kind of skill set that I need to be able to attend to my passions or concerns? So while you start to write out this essay, have that at the back of your mind. Housekeeping rules, starting with this is not a passive video get your pen and paper or typing device and follow along pause the video when requested to think through the discussion have a draft at the end of the video so for now do go ahead and pause the video grab yourself a pen and a paper or typing device to follow along now we'll start with going through the question the question posed uh, to us is outline why you have selected your chosen three university courses and explain how this relates to your previous academic or professional experience and your plans for the future please enter new information and, and examples here and not duplicate the information you have entered on the work experience and the education section of this form once again minimum word count is a hundred words to 500 words we'll start off by reading the shevening common mistakes link in the description box on where we can get this from and for this particular essay, Shevening states that share why you choose your courses. What do you hope to get out of studying on those particular courses? How would they benefit your career and development? Referring to professors you'd particularly like to meet, publications you're keen to read, the reputation of the course, or the specific modules you'd like to study that are all great ways to show uh, that you've done your research on this particular university and course. The other thing we've been advised is try to be as authentic as possible don't go copy pasting sentences from the university or tourism websites share your thoughts about the benefits of studying in the uk university in your own words lastly emphasize how studying on your chosen courses would help you achieve your goals and benefit your home country upon return that's step one for step two break down the question here i request that pause this video now and get your pen and paper and try to break that down the question as much as you can all right welcome back so in breaking down the question shivening asks us to outline why you have selected your chosen three university courses explain how this relates to your previous academic or professional experience and your plans for the future then please enter new information and examples here and not duplicate the information you have entered on the work experience and education section now breaking down the question helps us to digest this question in piecemeal and not to be overwhelmed by the entire question and also this helps us not to miss any particular thing that we may need to add in our essays for step three you need to pick a theme but as you pick a theme you need to keep in mind the theme that you picked or you selected for your leadership and relationship building essay once again if you are talking about health in the first essays then this is not the essay to talk about hospitality or talking about finance or accounting you need to maintain the theme that you started with from the beginning for step four, you then have to make bullet points. In making the bullet points for the introduction, you need to start strong, state the passion for the field of study that you have identified or you've selected, then have also a problem statement. A problem statement identifies your concern slash passion in this particular field. For the body, you need to slightly make mention of your work experience and how it's, it is contributing to solve the problem statement that we had in the introduction. Then the gap you have identified that requires you to do a master so you can solve the problem even more then continue to state why you have chosen the university or institution to attend and then justify why you chose the university talk about its ranking research excellence reputation any pastoral support it offers location etc most of this information you can find it on the university website so you can check that out including courses you could refer to the modules that you're interested in any research centers hosted at the faculty a particular professor and his or her reputation in a certain field among others so for the conclusion 
you want to tie back your conclusion to what you had written earlier in your introduction then emphasize how studying on your chosen courses would help you achieve your goals and benefit your country upon return now that we've discussed the conclusion smash that pause button write down the bullet points for the introduction body and conclusion and we'll come back after just a minute our final step is construct raw sentences don't be too hard on yourself at the beginning because you want it raw and you want it incorrect but it is the start of writing a winning essay so construct sentences from the bullet points that you made earlier now that we are done with the five steps that guide us on making a draft let's have a look at some examples of the introductions that so far i have come across or reviewed so we'll have a real person a and a real person b these are real people real essays that i have reviewed so real person a wrote marketing management can be defined as the process of developing strategies and planning for product of or services advertising promotions to reach desired customer segment it involves interpreting marketing market data, providing situational analysis, and making recommendations as for strategic development as well as being able to develop advertising campaigns that change with the market conditions. I've chosen marketing management as a course of study for the following reasons. Clearly, you can see that this real person A is defining what marketing management is and we should not be inputting definitions or explanations like this for the course that you're studying. But let us look at what real person B said. My interest in technology studies dates to my years in high school where I was always fascinated by how technology simplifies our work and I purpose to use this desire to contribute to Uganda's economic transformation. World socioeconomic indicators show that the lack of ICT innovation is contributing factor to the widening gap between developed and developing countries. The urge to create digital solutions to improve efficiency influenced my choice to do a bachelor's degree in computer science. Additionally, I have trained in various courses like artificial intelligence, robotic process automation, geographic information system, big data analytics, and blockchain to understand emerging technologies. No wonder real person B was able to secure themselves a chevening scholarship. So as you're writing your introduction, let the introduction depict the passion that you have for what you want to study as a plus real person B stated a problem statement and also indicated how they are looking forward to improve efficiency using digital solutions now that we have had a look at some real life examples on how a real person a and real person b constructed their introduction let us work together on as an example with nelson mandela so let's say he wanted to apply an ma in peace resilience and social justice at university of bradford theme freedom again your theme needs to be consistent throughout your application and so his introduction would look something like this a nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens but its lowest ones i believe that there should be justice peace work bread water and salt for all with this we're able to see he's passionate about um, justice peace work and equality for the body who state something like during my lifetime i have dedicated myself to the struggle of the african people and a free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities this requires a vast understanding of the major contemporary trends shaping our world the ma in peace resilience and social justice at university of bradford enables me to further equip myself to study peace in a changing world as well as peacemaking and peace building i chose to study the this course at University of Bradford because the program is delivered by the Division of Peace Studies and International Development, which maintains an international reputation as a center for excellence in research, teaching, training, and policy engagement. Now, again, we are able to see why he's studying, why he's chosen what he's. An addition to this is to let you know that quite a number of this information, I got it from the University of Bradford. And in this paragraph, we're able to see that he's looking to equip himself with studying peace in changing world this is one of the course units under this particular course then also peacekeeping and peace building is also a course unit so you need to go down into the course units and be able to see how you can relate with some of these and lastly for the conclusion he writes during my fight for freedom i have needed to negotiate on several occasions with the government therefore i look forward to being 
under the tutelage of Dr. Ute Kelly, who has vast experience in encouraging meaningful conversations about difficult and potentially divisive issues, a skill set that would further the freedom fight in South Africa. Again, this is a strong start and a strong closing of the essay. So while looking to close the essay, you need to keep in mind how this skill set that you're going to acquire um, at the university would be able to further your passion. And that's it for today. We've come to the end of our video, but not the end of our discussion. In the comment section, let me know what are your reasons for studying in the UK. Let's discuss. Until next time, it might be hard, but nothing is ever impossible. Ciao.